Hello class, this is chapter 1.6 and in this video we will be discussing an example of a linear substitution problem. So the one we have right now on the board is dy dx equals 3 minus x minus 2y squared minus 1 half. So a hint to when we would want to perform a linear substitution is if there is a somewhat complicated expression that we would prefer to be simpler. And in this case, you see that the problem would be a lot easier if the thing in the square bracket were simpler than 3 minus x minus 2y. So let's apply wishful thinking and make that substitution. v equals 3 minus x minus 2y. So the next step is to take the derivative with respect to x on both sides. And this gets us dv dx equals 0 minus 1 minus 2 dy dx. All right. And this is equivalent to saying that dy dx is equal to Um, minus one half minus half times dv dx. All right. Now we make that substitution back in there, and we have minus one half minus half dv dx, and that's y prime is equal to v squared minus half. If you recall, we replaced the uh, v term. We replaced the 3 minus x minus 2y term with the v term that way. Okay, and that's how we get this equation. So let's simplify that equation. Um, yeah, there's not much to simplify, I guess. So we have, we can multiply both sides by minus 2, and we have, oh no, wait, no, 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 that's, that's a simple simplification here. We eliminate the minus half on both sides. And what we have left is dv dx equals, I guess, both minus 2v squared. Right? That seems like a fairly straightforward differential equation. All right. Um, so this seems like something that we can solve easily through integration. So let's move all the v's on one side. And we have 1 over v squared dv equals minus 2 dx. Take the antiderivatives. And the integral of 1 over v squared, that is going to be hmm. when doing integrals of fractions like this, I prefer to write it down in this form. Makes things a little bit easier. Okay, so we can use the exponent rule for integration. We have v minus 1 over minus 1 equals, and this is just going to be minus 2x plus c. Okay, and what we have is minus 1 over v equals minus 2x plus c. So v is going to be equal to one over two x minus c. All right. The next step is going to be okay. So we have a general solution for v, but we want to find a solution for y. So we have to substitute this back in. Let's just draw this long arrow back down. So we had that y was v equals 3 minus x minus 2y. v equals 3 minus x minus 2y. And this implies that y is going to be equal to v minus 3 
sorry. Uh, y is going to be equal to 3 minus x minus v over 2. Okay? And substituting this back in, we have that y is equal to 3 minus x over 2 minus 1 over 2x minus c over 2. And this, oops, uh, this is just going to be y equals 3 minus x over 2 minus 1 over 4x minus 2c. And this is going to be our general solution. And uh, that's just about it. So things to look out for if you have something in a bracket that you prefer to be simpler, just substitute it in with V and very often good things will happen.